Okay, another shootout. This morning we're looking at a Surface Laptop 4 with an AMD Ryzen 7 processor and 8GB of RAM. That's on the left. On the right we've got a Surface Pro 7 uh, which has a 10th generation i5 and also 8GB of RAM. Now I think I know um, where we're going with this one but I thought it would be interesting to see just what the difference is in terms of specs. So let's make sure that we're at the forefront and let's start them both running at the same time see how we get on so straight away off the blocks we're looking at 18 on the surface laptop 4 against 28 on the surface pro 7 so as expected i think the um, surface laptop 4 with the ryzen 7 not having to work as hard um, that's no great surprise now looking at 21 on the left, the Surface Laptop 4 against 28 on the right for the Surface Pro 7. I'm going to keep it going just a little bit longer until we get to uh, the loudest section, which you can probably see on the larger Surface Laptop 4 screen is just coming up there on the bottom right of the screen. Um, we're just about to hit that, probably in a few seconds. It starts to build up and we should see the processor um, reading uh, go up. So we're now looking at 26 on the left against 37 on the Surface Pro 7 on the right. Uh, 26 against 38 on the Surface Pro 7. So the Surface Pro 7 starting to have to work really hard now. 28 from the Surface Pro 4 against 45 from the Surface Pro 7. Um, so no surprises there. The um, Surface Pro 7 Having no problem, but having to work harder, the processor having to work harder, that's what the reading is telling us. Um, Surface Laptop 4 now at 30, against a reading of 45 from the Surface Laptop 7. And I think that's probably enough for us to um, decide where we are. Let's turn them both off. Um, probably noticed I've got the Surface Laptop 4 in this nice stand. It's uh, it's great, you can have basically a keyboard and it's a docking station and um, you can effectively tilt it to whatever section, whatever. You really need two hands actually to do it. <laughs> I'll try and do it with one hand. Um, you can move it up and down and you can tilt it backwards and forwards. You can have it right down on the bottom, slide it forward. Um, and on the back it's a docking station as well. And the Surface Laptop 7, it's a Kensington, I think it's a Kensington SD700 or something like that. And the Surface Laptop 7, I think, is the highest spec machine that supports it. Um, you can still use it as a Surface Pro 7 with a normal keyboard, just plugs in. But um, it's quite handy if you're looking for a small desktop type device um, and you want to just plug it in um, to a lot of accessories, you know, a mouse, keyboard and anything else you have knocking around. Anyway, um, that's not the objective of, uh, of this. I hope you've got something out of that. Um, there's another one coming up where I'm going to pit the Surface Laptop 4 here with the Ryzen 7 against our friend 